Hi, today in this video we teach you how to connect a Zlink router to a Zlink device hub, the device management platform. Here we use UI75 as example. The device hub has two versions, software version for self-hosting by customers and cloud version hosted by Acelink. Here we use cloud version for demonstration. You can ask your sales representative for an account. Log into the device hub. You can see the menu with six sections on the top. They are dashboard, device, alarm, operation log, settings, and task. The dashboard has a comprehensive overview of device's status, alarm, and group. On the device page, you can configure your device or upgrade the firmware in bulk remotely. About the alarm, you can view all the alarms from devices and configure the alarm settings. On the operation log page, you can check the operation log related to the concurrent account. The settings page allows you to edit your account profile and manage second-level users. On the task page, you can check the task status. Also, you can learn more about the features from the Device Hub user guide. The first step is to create an authentication code from Device Hub. Go to Device, My Device. Click Add. Enter the name of device. Assign the device to a group if you want. Or you can choose none here. If you check Verify Serial Number and MAC Address, the code will only work on corresponding device. Click Add. Copy the code. Go to the web grid of the device. Go to System, Device Management. Fill in the Device Hub link. DeviceHub.UrsaLink.com in Server Address field. In the activation method, choose by authentication code. Pass the authentication code and click connect. The status has been changed into connected. And also you can see the device is online on device hub. Another activation method is by ID. Fill in the account using the email address used for logging in Device Hub and fill in the password. Click Connect. The status is connected. And you can see the device is online on Device Hub. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, please contact us. See you next time.